So it's been a while since this fat hamster has uploaded a video onto YouTube. It's just, you know, sometimes hamsters get preoccupied, right? But uh, I never really left. I've still been, you know, trolling around comments and stuff. I just haven't had time to really put something together. But I'm back now. And like I usually say, if you appreciate the content, uh, showing you how to really spruce your desktop up, make it look really beautiful uh, while using DWM and Linux, you know, free yourself from Microsoft and Apple, you know, take control of your own system. The fat hamster would really appreciate a like and a sub. I'd say like for Rin because she's so hot, but she's not in this wallpaper. Well, technically she's down here, but the wallpaper's been cropped, so you can't see her. But that's not a big deal. I'll bring her back eventually. But anyway, uh, so the point of this video is just to show you how I add my icons to my desktop. And it's very, very easy to install them. So let's start off by just opening a terminal. So we can do a query here. The icon pack that I decide to use for uh, my DWM desktop is called Nerd Fonts. Because I found that they have the best collection that I like without having to actually pay <laughs> which is kind of funny but I think that this is um, the best overall package for me so anyway let's just do a search you'll see that there are a few packages here that will give you the um, the font but this is the one that I like to use the TTF nerd font symbols there Whoops. okay so my desktop also looks funny because I removed them just to show the process of installing it anyway so let's do a Pacman S. Let me do TTF uh, nerd fonts uh, symbols. Okay, type the password as always. All right, cool. And we can see that the package is very small, so it will download even on you know that dial-up connection. Anyway, does anyone use dial-up? Well, I'm, I'm starting to get old. I think. Anyway. So we've installed it here. And if I reset my binary, so if I reload ST or DWM, which I will do, everything will go back to normal. But I just want to show how uh, I then place them in the configuration so that they show up. So let's go into um, where I keep my DWM. Uh, whoops, not CD Nano. Okay. Cool. So if we open the configuration file, there's a small spot here for uh, the tags. And they've got these bars or brackets here sort of in the place because it doesn't know what to display. So this is the fallback here. And that's why it looks funny. But this is where you would place the symbols, the icons, right? And to get them, it's very, very easy, actually. We can just go to nerdfonts.com and then go to cheat sheet here. And then we can search for whatever we're looking for. So let's say we want to restart. Um, it'll show us the icon that it has that's tagged as a restart, right? And let's search for a few more. Let's see what else is cool here. So for Arch Linux, I think they have one because I have an icon here. So let's see Arch. Huh. So space messed it up. Yeah. So right there we have it. And we just really easily copy and then, uh, sorry, paste it into here. Now it still doesn't show it because we haven't uh, reloaded the binary, but I'm going to do that right now just to show you guys how it looks, the final thing. So you see now that the font package is installed, everything has come back. So let's move this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way too. And also with ST here, we have to reload the binary. So let's go there. So you see that it's installed now. and. Um, correctly displayed. Let's go back into that uh, directory just to show how easy it is to copy and paste D 
the actual icons. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that. It's got to be nano. I got, I'm trying to open the file, not uh, get into the directory. But uh, so if you go down here to the tags here, this is where you would add your icons. And I think that there's a little issue with ST, and um, when you paste an icon, it won't show all of them if they're past a certain uh, size, unless you have a space here, and then you can. Sometimes it'll display. I'm not. Yeah, there you go. You see, it's like a bug in ST, I think. But you will have to close it in like that, and it looks like it's not in there. But this is actually the correct way to do it. Um, but yeah. You can just copy and paste any icon you want. So I'll just copy this one. Let's see, where can we go here? Uh, I won't save this, but uh, see, and we have the icon there now. So you can do that for any icon that you want, and you can put it there in your tags. Now, for the status bar, it's the same concept, but I think it's better to watch um, my video on making the status bar to really understand how that works because it's a little bit uh, more complicated. But I'll show where I actually keep this stuff here. So I go into scripts. Uh, see, I haven't edited these in a long time. But uh, let's go into DWM. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, so sorry, not in there. If you want to have it in your uh, bar, it's the same idea. You can just copy and paste the icons into some scripting function. Now, if you want to learn how to do the scripting that I've done here, I think. I recommend watching my video on how to do scripting for uh, a status bar again because it just it's better to watch that it's a little bit complicated in the way that I did it in general it's it's a little bit complicated but if you follow the video you have some basic programming experience you can do that but if you want to just know how to place them here in the status bar this is how I do it um, I'll quickly go through it. Uh, I create a string. Um, I first query, then I create a string, then I save that string, and then I'll update it every so often. But it's the same concept. You can just copy and paste the icons into here. There's no big difference. But that's just a quick run through on how to install the nerd fonts on Linux here, specifically Arch, but it should. The package name might be different on another distro, but it should be the same idea. It still use the cheat sheet also, which is awesome. Um, but again, if you appreciate the content, you like seeing Rin before, but she will be back eventually. The Fat Hamster would really appreciate a like and a sub. I really hope that you found this useful.